Hello and welcome to my 1 to 130 woodcutting leveling guide. In this guide, we're going to be taking a look at the best spots for leveling your woodcutting. And those spots include spots that are close to cities, have the least amount of mobs and the most amount of trees. But anyways, all the timestamps and everything like that is down below. Let's get started. For level 1, we have this corner of the Nivla forest where not too many mobs spawn. Some zombies spawn on the sort of border that uh, they can sort of walk in and aggro on you. But it's relatively calm and peaceful and there's a lot of oak. It's no, not too far away from the nearest blacksmith either. Moving on to level 10, we have the Deltless Suburbs. Right here you can find sort of the best amount of birch that there is. And it's quite loopable. There is a bit of space in between each tree, but it shouldn't be too annoying until you level up. Deltless is also very close for when you need to repair your tools. Some mobs do spawn in this area, but they are generally level 13 or level 10, so you should be able to deal with them. For level 20, we have this sort of spot of trees right next to Nemrakt. So it's quite close for repairs and there's not too many mobs. Some mobs spawn in these sort of mud pits around the area, but they don't really have time to aggro on you as long as you keep on cutting trees. Moving on to level 30, we have this sort of grove right next to Bremenglar. There's quite a lot of uh, acacia wood here and it's quite close to Bremenglar. Um, Mob wise, there aren't too many mobs around here. Some mobs like bandits spawn on the roads and they can aggro on you time to time, um, but it's not too annoying. For level 40, we have this spot of trees right outside of the Nesak entrance and right by the Sea Skipper. It's quite close to Nesak or it's right next to it, so repairs are close. Mob wise, some mobs do spawn around in the forest, but not too many and they're not too annoying. They can aggro on you when you walk between trees, but it should generally be fine. Moving on to level 50, we have this spot right next to the mansion in the Dernal Jungle. This location might be a bit of ways away from Troms, the nearest sort of blacksmith, or there's one in Iboja village, I do believe. Um, but it is worth it because there's a lot of trees here and you can easily loop between them. But the best sort of benefit with this spot is that there are no mobs at all. So they can sometimes aggro on you on your way here, but no mobs sort of spawn in this location. For level 60, we have this sort of border to the dark forest close to both Boosie and the orc um, fortress or castle. Right here, there's a good amount of dark wood and there's not too many mobs that sort of spawn this close to the border. Some mobs spawn further in, so don't go too far. They can aggro on you, but I haven't seen them aggro too much and some front Frumpkin gangster or trickster what they're called spawn on the opposite side of the bridge So they won't really aggro on you either So it's very sort of peaceful and it's close for repairs in boozy For level 70 we have this sort of border to the light forest and to the dark forest right here It's next to the forgery so you can go and repair your tools at its blacksmith and there's not too many mobs here. Some mobs spawn further inside the light forest and they can sometimes aggro on you. The mobs that could be annoying are the dark forest mobs that sort of spawn on the opposite side of the river. But as long as you farm trees, they won't aggro on you. So it's generally quite peaceful. For level 80, we have this spot right outside of Theseid and right next to Theseid coal mines. Right here, there's a good amount of trees and they're very close to each other so you don't have to walk too far so it shouldn't feel too annoying. 
There's also no mobs here because it's the sort of city area and half of this sort of location is actually within the Theseed safe zone. And because it's so close to Theseed you can easily repair your tools when you need to. Moving on to level 90, we have this sort of mountain with the lighthouse on it right next to the level 90 farm. Here there's been an increase in the amount of trees and the, the reason this is sort of better than some other spots is because even though there's not super many trees, it's very peaceful. And it's not too far away from Corcus City itself for when you need to repair your trees. The only mobs that could spawn here are some occasional bandits that don't spawn in the cave and sort of glitch through the ground or uh, the rare mob, uh, the golden avia could spawn in the sky, but not too much. So it's very peaceful and there's a good amount of trees. For level 100, we have this sort of mountainous spot right next to Candon Beta. This spot here is quite loopable and it's right next to Cannon Beta, so you just sort of drop down on the path or sort of keep on climbing the hill and you'll get to the nearest, nearest blacksmith. Um, it's also sort of very peaceful, no mobs spawn up here at all, so it's generally a very good area. But alternatively for level 100, we also have the Wibble Island. Now this spot has sort of more trees and it's a little bit more loopable because it's flat so it's not as, no as annoying so you don't have to jump up and down all the time. It is however a bit further away from Omsword so it's a bit of a walk and some angels uh, can drop from the islands up above and sort of aggro on you but other than that it's a very peaceful and good spot. And finally, for level 110, we have the sort of gate to Lutho. Right outside of Lutho, not too many mobs spawn. Some can aggro on you sort of when you get further, uh, closer sort of to the middle here. And they can aggro and walk down the path. But right next to Lutho, we don't really have any mobs. And we do have this sort of def uh, defensive guardian canters that could back you up if need be. It's quite loopable and there's a good amount of trees as well. And that was it for the woodcutting leveling guide. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and a comment down below and subscribe if you want to. But anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.